Alright, so in today's video, we are going to do a little review of the Aftershocks Apex. Now, these headphones, just a quick uh, note, I actually got given them, so they emailed me and said, do you want to give them a go? And um, me as a very skeptical person of bone conductor headphones was like, actually, let's give them a go and see if the boy can be persuaded. Um, and also, stick around because at the end of the channel, I actually have something to give away, which is huge. Um, but I'll give you more details in a bit because I need those view times in it. So anyway, first of all, just go through the little unboxing. So it's got a nice little magnet here, keeps it all attached. Open it up, is what it is. Uh, and then basically, headphones here, pretty nice. I've got the blue color, which is uh, pretty tasty. Uh, and then in the little box comes all sorts of goodies. We'll go through them now. Uh, and they are quite exciting. So you've got a charger. It's quite cool. It's magnetic. It's small. Does the job. Uh, I've got another charger, I believe. Um, and then we've got some earplugs, which we're going to go into in a minute because you can probably already tell where, the, what, what, where we're going to go. And then it comes with some instruction manuals, which is all nice and good, but sort of not needed. So anyway, well, we might as well go straight to my review. So what do I do? So this is what they look like on your head. Whack them over your ears. And it's actually quite cool because they do actually work. Like they vibrate here uh, and then you can hear them. And to be fair, like if you leave them on something, they also vibrate that so you can hear it through that as well. So pretty decent, like in terms of sound quality, I was surprised like, okay, my headphones I have to compare them to, which I don't actually have with me, um, are like, you know, 20 quid AliExpress ones. Uh, here they are. So that, you know, it's, it's like, I've never really had outrageous headphones, but their sound quality for me seems pretty decent uh, for what I do uh, and then, Connecting to Bluetooth with the iPhone, doddle, no worries about that. Uh, very easy. It has a little person who talks to you in the ear, which you may or may not like. I think it's relatively good because then you know if it's actually connected or not. You're not just playing tunes out to random people. Uh, and then, does it fit under the helmet? It does sort of fit under the helmet. Um, the sort of straps aren't too bad. Not not uh, not a game changer for me. But the, the point is then, obviously, there are some downsides, which we're going to get into now. Well, not downsides, but just things to uh, point out uh, in terms of my view of them, which is that you can hear things. Now, when I like to go on a bike ride, I don't like to hear cars because I don't think it adds anything safety-wise of me hearing them. Now, obviously, I think it does, but I disagree completely. I think hearing a car does nothing. If I'm riding along, there's a car behind me. It's like, great, there's a car behind me. Like, I don't think it does that. Okay, you might argue, oh, if you cross the road, then maybe, but it's like, just have a look, mate. Like, I, I don't, that, that argument for me, if I ride in the city, which I often do, because I live in London most of the, well, half the time, Bristol here, where it's not too busy, but you just hear cars, you're on a main road, like you need to get somewhere, you just hear cars overtaking you, I don't like that at all. So then it comes to these, which is the headphone plugs, which is like nice. Okay, you can put them in, but I'd rather just have them like headphones in the whole time. However, to caveat that, the time that was nice, I was like riding in the morning and like there was no traffic because I was on some quiet roads. And then it was actually quite nice because you like hear things have your tunes on, and you're like, oh yeah, this is actually quite nice, like I understand the appeal. So in that sense, my my argument would be, definitely get the headphones if, number one, you think hearing traffic actually increases your safety, which, okay, fine, do. Number two, if you ride quite quietly, like if I rode on roads where it was pretty quiet most of the time, I never really had too much traffic, then, you know, I definitely would get them because they are quite cool. Uh, however, I think if you live in a main major city, don't get them because then all you do is hear truck car traffic. Unless you're fine with that, but for me personally, I just prefer to hear my tunes. That's why I have headphones on, to hear my tunes. Uh, and then the other thing, I guess, is also wind noise. So if you have traditional headphones in, like these, um, they go in your ear, like quite a lot in your ear. So you just don't hear much wind, which is obviously quite nice because hearing wind is not nice and quite noisy. Well, obviously with these ones, you do hear wind. So I think it just depends. It comes down to the, the issue of like Aftershocks work. The sound quality is basically the same as these, but it's like how much do you actually value hearing the traffic? For me personally, I haven't been convinced in my initial trial. I don't think for me that I would, I will wear them sometimes, but I don't like, you know, if you were going out with a mate maybe and you want to just like chat, from maybe some of it, but then they, you know, they wouldn't do efforts and you just want to tune. So I think that makes sense, like definitely, because it's less faff, you can just leave them on and then you don't have to take them in and out. So in that sense, maybe, yeah. But I think in general, like just having, being able to not hear any traffic is just a lot nicer in my opinion. Um, so yeah, then we're gonna go to the little, the, the giveaway. So if you want a giveaway, basically what you need to do is like the video, um, share it would be great, I can't really check. So if you can share it, that'd be class. 
Um, but yeah, subscribe and then obviously follow me on Twitter, uh, on Instagram and Strava. Links will be down below. Uh, and then yeah, you could win yourself some aftershocks, which would be pretty mad if you're in in the business. Um, so yeah, final conclusion is good product, but I think it depends on your usage if you actually should definitely get them ahead of other headphones or not. Um, and this thing on my channel is like they gave them to me. They gave me some spiel and stuff and it was like, well, if you want future partnership, but ultimately I'm just gonna tell you the truth if I rate them or not. And you will see that, like, I think they're cool, but I will go back to my old headphones because I just don't like hearing traffic. I like hearing tunes. No traffic is perfect. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy these, this quick video and I will see you in the next one.